Hello everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing Minecraft Education Edition. And I've got to start off with saying, despite what research is telling us about gamifying your classrooms and video games in the classrooms being a positive, I was pretty skeptical about Minecraft Education Edition and, and how it could be used in, in the classroom. First of all, because I didn't see the appeal to Minecraft. Uh, I just, I didn't see it. Uh, but I've got to tell you, after the last week or so of playing with it, my mind has been changed. I think it has endless possibilities across the curriculum. And I think it's going to be a very great thing. So first of all, let's just jump right in. You, you sign in using a Microsoft Office uh, 365 account, which your school can set up for you. Uh, you get an avatar. That avatar can be customized, just so you know. Um, now let's jump in and play the game. First thing you do when you start playing games is you're dealing with worlds here. So there are predefined worlds, which you can see there's three of them here I've kind of been playing with for the last week or so. Um, but you can also create new worlds, or you can create a world as the teacher and make it available to your students. So I'm just going to jump right in and create a new world. I'm going to take this tutorial world, this is one I started off with because I didn't know how to play, and jump right in there. There's a couple things I want to point out right away that I think uh, has uh, a lot of possibilities here. And uh, the first thing are these NPCs, uh, non-player characters, which can give you information. The real power from them comes in this learn more button here because that learn more button can be linked to a, a URL and when I click on this one it takes me to a YouTube video which gives me more information. So um, let me go back here and also the other thing are these, these chalkboards here which give us more information as we go. So since this is a tutorial there are quite a few of them here that are just kind of giving me different ideas on how to move around and, and everything like that. So I'm just going to jump right on up here and I'm going to kind of go through until I can get to a certain level here. And here we have one. Uh, again, chalkboard tells me I need to right click on that to open up the door. If I click on the NPC, I get the same thing with a, a learn more button there. Uh, oh, where the heck? Oh, there we go. Okay. And now we kind of get into the, the gist of Minecraft in that I need to mine to get through this wall. So let me get through here. And as I go, I'm going to be picking up these blocks of dirt and taking with me because I'm going to use them later. Here it tells me a little bit about swimming across the water. Now we get into part of a, a problem solving here. I need to get up to that second level to finish this, uh, but I don't have uh, a way to get up there. Well, that's where the dirt comes in. So I'm going to place the dirt. And now I have steps to come up. And now I'm on to that next level. So I'm going to jump out of the game because I, I think you kind of get the idea. Uh, because really what I want to show you is where the real power comes from, I think, is in these educator resources and the, the libraries there. So because, like I said, this is uh, created by, my, by Microsoft, they have a great uh, bunch of resources here for your classroom resources. There's a huge community tech support. Uh, here we have uh, a 10 module course for teachers to take to learn how to play. The community is an active community. There's lessons predefined. Uh, this will take you to a Pinterest uh, board of these build challenges. There's tech support and there's worlds that you can just download and use. Um, but it, really I want to go into this find lessons uh, because I just want to grab a, a random lesson here. I'll just click on science for the subject area. Uh, I'll just pick this first one, Bridge Builders, because I really want to show you here how uh, there's a lesson plan already created with learning objectives. Uh, the world has been created that I can download and make it available to my students. Uh, there's discussion from other people that have used this, uh, this lesson. Uh, so I think there's a lot of, a lot of possibilities there uh, on what I can do. The other thing that I think is really, uh, really kind of a neat thing is this wiki.education.minecraft.net. Uh, it, it helps kind of get through things. There's lesson examples. Um, there are Common Core State Standard links. And if you think you might have a little bit of pushback, uh, there's articles here in research that, that talks about gamifying your classroom and, and using video games in your classroom and the benefits to it. So with all of that, uh, I, my mind has really been changed. I think uh, that Minecraft Education Edition especially has a lot of possibilities to be used in the classroom for wonderful things across the curriculum. Uh, have a great day. Thank you.